Hello and welcome to Adam. Time for us to speak to the village elder, village head, whatever. We picked up the mushrooms and now apparently we got BFFs for life. Uh, I think this is the guy. I don't know because uh, we don't really know their names unless we talk to them. I already talked to this guy but they're all both grumpy. Good day, may I ask you a couple of questions? I don't think this is the guy. Is, is the guy? That's a good question. No, I don't think this is the guy. I think this is the guy. One with the fancy hat. This, guy, this must be a guy. I got this letter of recommendation at the tavern. I'm looking for work, you see. <laughs> Interesting. Let me take a look at that note. Yeah, that's how it works. I'm recommended... I got the recommendation from the bar. You know, it's worth something. Comrade uh, Kovalev takes your note and quickly reads it. You notice that he holds it very close to his eyes. Seems like the vision of uh, this strong old man isn't as good as it was in his prime. Seems that Katya Rachenko believes you can be trusted. Maybe so. In any case, you made an impression. And this is recommendation enough okay attention oh you notice real warmth in the head's voice when he talks about katya from the tavern his tone is almost fatherly um mm -hmm. what about that job yeah the job um the head uh, thoroughly cracks his knuckles after that he raises his gaze to you looking as if he's reached a conclusion. Maybe I have a job for you after all. You probably already heard about the bandit gang that terrorizes our village. May have. Each month they come to take our supplies away from us. If we don't pay up, they rob and kill our people. We tried fighting them, but to no avail. But now, looking at your honest face, I've come up with a little plan. Okay, sure. Kovalev, uh, I, I'm all ears. I'm not sure what kind of fate he's putting into me. I, I just basically went out and got some mushrooms and punched some rodents, which was pretty impressive, I have to say, but maybe I'm not ready for uh, armed bandits. The head lowers his gaze again. It's hard for you to read him. He's either indecisive or he's just trying to find the right words. Well, I just, well, I just wait silently. The thing is, our village probably has a snitch living in it, a traitor, a rat. I'm sure about this. Someone made a pact with the bandits and tells them everything that's going on around here. Oh my God, who is it? Is it you? But with that said, I can't imagine who the rat is. And that bastard himself knows me and the other villagers too well to get caught. When we hired mercenaries to protect us, the bandits already knew about it, and each time we trade for a bit of money, they attack. Someone is ratting us out. Ah, there you are. You're new here. Your face is still unfamiliar. You can earn his trust easily, or at least try to do it. Learn who this dirtbag is and tell me. How am I gonna do it? Do I need to seduce all the dudes? In this town? I'm not sure you know exactly what you're asking me to do. This seems like a lot of trouble. And why do you trust me with that? I could be one of the bandits. The head laughs mirthlessly and appears to shrink a bit before you. His true age becomes more apparent and you realize he must be older than 60. Who cares? I, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell it to you straight. The village is slowly dying. The drought, the bandits, our young people always leaving. A few more years and we'll be wiped off the map. The old timers will die and the others will simply scatter. Some might even join the bandits. I don't like this decision of mine, but I think it's the last chance to fix the situation. It wouldn't change everything, but it might buy our village 
uh, some more time. If it must die, let it die honorably on its own, leaving warm memories in the hearts of the people. What's happening now? That's not even death. It's withering. It's rot. That's not good. It seems we need an investigation. Kumrat Kovalev walks up to you. Do you agree or do you decline? Say, say straight. Alright, where do I start? Where do you start? Well, let me tell you who is in the village I do not suspect. For one, I completely trust my fighting man, Jan and Petya. Isn't he Peter? On the south and north gate, gates respectively. They would not work for me otherwise. Trader Yashin may be a suspect. He's new in town and he obviously has a shady past, but he does so much for the village. He built his shop with his own money, he pays taxes, and he suffers from the bandits like everyone else. Dr. Mikoyan and the old Semyon, I trust like I would trust myself, they build this village together, you know. They are good people, tested by time and loyal. Comrade Grankin, the village superintendent, on the other hand, is a cowardly, shifty person. But no, he is too cowardly. He would never work with the bandits. Okay. So who do you suspect? It's much more profitable for him to keep his post in the village. And the bandits have no respect for him and would probably shoot him for laughs if he tried to talk to them. <laughs> well. Katya and uh, Vasya Rachenko, the owners of the tavern, have no reason to be snitches. They would never do something like that. And the others, I just don't know about the rest. Maybe you could give me some more clues? I suspect that the traitor is a man, not too old, a person that travels from time to time, but is ultimately lazy. What? You're just guessing. If the snitch does any does a good job, well, I agree that it needs to be someone who at least leaves the town uh, from time to time. But you gotta have an open mind about this. The head wrinkles in his nose. Those criminal types, they abhor honest labor. They think that the only way, the only low people must work while they act like some aristocracy. Well, <clears throat> well, I better start investigating. I'm not sure how or where. Okay, I, I know. I'm just gonna ask people straight up. May I ask you a couple of questions? Tell me about yourself. Or is there to tell? I'm a simple man. One thing that makes me special is my aim. I can hit a radio... I heard that before. That's it. I, I, I don't know. That's it. This is annoying because I already talked to people. And I suppose I can use the information about them? To try to guess? So the shopkeep is not above suspicion. Can I ask you some questions? Hmm. Tell me about yourself. There's really nothing to tell about me. Before moving to this village, I used to live in a big city to the south from here, you know? What the hell? Krasno. It's a mighty big city, I can tell you that. A real capital. Buzzing with people, full of life. Then I've decided to get some fresh air and moved here, so... You pick up on the regret in his voice when he speaks. Clearly, there's something he's not telling you. I know there's something you're leaving out. Maybe I can, it can, I can help if you tell me what's bothering you. Oh fine, why bother hiding it anymore? You see, I was a big man in Krasno. I was a weapons, ammo, alcohol and tobacco dealer. I had warehouses in the city. 
I was part of the Chamber of Commerce. I had a family, a wife and son. The trader looks through you, his sight aimed into the past. You succeeded at finding the genuine man beneath the guise of a smiling professional salesman. Well, most big men have many enemies, and I had some too. It turned out. Uh, how else I could explain? the fires at my warehouses, the attacks on my caravans, and the fact that someone tried to break into my house. And even after that, the troubles kept on coming. My workers started to leave me for different reasons. My guards said they wouldn't follow my caravans anymore. Some valuable contracts failed to deliver. Everything indicated someone was out to get me. No worse, someone was out to destroy me. I wanted to learn more about my nemesis. I hired some sleuths. I see, but whoever was behind this operation uh, was too tricky for them to find. Eventually I started drinking. Maybe you should have hired some sluts. Hmm? At least uh, you're gonna feel better about the situation. You see the trader ball his fists up hard like he's trying to suppress some strong emotions the wife left me took my son with her i understand why but but well after that someone turned in an anonymous tip about me claimed i was some sort of moral degenerate and a shame to the chamber of commerce of krasno that i worked with thugs and antisocial elements and all that the wood was swift, and I was escorted out of the city. And now, here I am. Just managed to get back on my feet recently. Do you suspect anyone specific is behind your troubles? It could have been anyone. Like I said, big men have many enemies. But don't listen to me, friend. What am I even doing? Pouring, pouring my heart out to a client? That's very unprofessional. The trader cuffs uncomfort uncomfortably and straightens the the sides of his uh, dusty jacket. Hold on there, unprofessional, maybe I can help. Hmm, maybe. I see you're a wise woman, you understand people. Maybe if your road leads you through Krasno, you could put in a good word for me, so I'd be reinstated in the Chamber of Commerce. You never know! Because as clear and lovely the air is in these parts. Trading with village militia and some derelicts is very tiring, and paying fees to the local criminals is even worse. I'm in. I'll try to fix this for you when I'm in Brasno. Great, okay. So the Chamber of Commerce building is in the center of the city. It's a huge building, made of brick. It's huge, I tell you. You can't miss it. Inside you'll find a trader named Alexander Sablin. He was my friend, and helped me Till the last. He was the only one who didn't turn his back on me. Please talk to him. He'll help me out. I'm sure of it. The trader snatches the map out of your hands and puts an E cross mark on it. Apparently where Krasno is located. So I need to go to Krasno, find the Chamber of Commerce and talk to some guy named Sablin. I need to think this over. Talk to you later. Okay. I'm not sure we're any closer. I don't think this guy is the snitch. Maybe the sheep did it. Hmm. There, there are no new conversation options. I already talked to people. This is a bit annoying. So the guy says that most likely... Wait. We can't fix this. It's someone. Middle-aged man. And we have a lot of them here. Before you stands a 50-year-old man. His rigid posture and his prideful expression contrast slightly with his shifty eyes. Seems like he'd been small-time government official before the war. Comrade! Comrade! Comrade woman! By any chance are you here for to fix our water tower? 
Yeah, why not? That's great news, you see, the motor isn't working and our mechanic has disappeared. Probably went out drinking again. I'll take a look. Great! Local proletariat will not forget your contribution to our everyday struggle for survival. The water tower is nearby. Take a look to find out what's wrong with it. I'm sure you can handle it, comrade. Take it easy, man. I haven't fixed anything yet, but I'll take a look. Yeah, but I can't fix it, can I? I don't have the repair. Or maybe I do have the repair, but I don't even know how to. Yeah, we need to fix the pump. But how do I start fixing it? I think we need to have a, a toolkit. Did he give me a toolkit? That's just a guess on my part, but... Crafting? Custom made crossbow? Really? Bolt into my crossbow. Let's make a custom made pipe rifle? What the hell? I can make that too. Broken bottle. Yeah, I think I can figure that out. Switch Wonka. Swatka. Pipe rifle. But I don't have bullets, and I can't make bullets. But I can make bolts. So let's make a custom made. Well, I can't do that, can I? Can I make a custom made. I don't have the items. Oh yeah, I don't have everything for it. I'm missing uh, a babushka scarf. What about the shiv? Oh crap. Really? Who would have known? Who could knew that I'm gonna need these things? So I guess we're gonna pick up everything because we can craft. And I can't do anything with that. I, I think I need a toolkit. And there's no way to initiate the repair on it. As far as I know, there's no way, zero way, to start repairing that. This is not Fallout. Um, sir, can help you, man. It's not like this. Before you stands a stocky, powerful man aged around 30. He has a plump face, an upturned nose, and an impudent look in his eye. He's wearing workman's slacks and a tight t-shirt with the word rowing printed on the front in faded sunburn letters. Ooh, you see that he's rolling dice in his palm. Whoa! Wanna play some dice? I'd like to get your opinion on the local bandits. Do you have a representative? In, do they have a representative in the village? Whoa, this this must be the, the traitor. The man's face uh, stays the same, and he doesn't expose any emotions your words uh, should have brought out. His manner stays the same, and his gaze is still pretty saucy. Thieves are thieves. Uh, what's there to say? They survive, that's it. He spits to the side and looks at you insolently, right in the eye. Do they suspect someone inside the village? Is there a spy around? And why are you interested anyway, Miss Investigator? Wow! Well, your head gave me a mission to find the local snitch. Well, what if I want to join them? Yeah, look, what if the one who's working for the bandits just left the village quiet... Uh, it's gotta be quietly. Making no trouble for you or anyone else. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. And when you decide you're done with all the bullshit, sleeping on the rocks, stealing dog food, and all that stuff, there will be a position available for you in our... Um, I mean, in their bandit camp. It's located not too far from here. It's in an abandoned factory. 
Well, how do you like that kind of career opportunity? Let's make this perfectly clear. You are the village snitch, right? Oh my god. Why give me only one conversation option? Like, yeah, I guess I'm pressing that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's called Brad. Whoa, whoa, quiet down, man. Yeah, that's me. Although, I resent being called a snitch. I'm more of a infiltrator, you know? Got sent here by my group. Anyway, my proposition is still open to you if you're interested. I have a counter proposal. You pay me and I stay silent about what I've just heard. <laughs> fine, fine, you damn mugger. So much for among our, um, honor among thieves. But what choice do I have? Here, 50 rubles. I don't have more. Thanks a bunch. Night. Stay right here. I need to think your position over. Just think quick. I'm getting pretty nervous about Kovalev hunting me, so I won't stick around here long. If I see you, leave the village. Don't expect to find me here when you come back. I'll meet you at the abandoned factory. Sure, just don't leave yet. Can I just uh, snitch him to Kovalev right now? Kovalev! I took money from him, but that was just uh, for my trouble. I got the guy! He's like across the street! That was easy. Yeah, I found your rat. It's a man killed called Grisha. I just call him rat. Kovalev slaps his forehead with regret. He looks angry, but also strangely shy, like he just did something stupid. That was too easy, Kovalev. What the fuck? He just, I literally just walk in there, the guy's like, hey, what's up, I'm the rat. <laughs> too, too flippin' easy. Of course, it was so obvious. The man drifts all around, never works for the benefit of the village, and speaks with characteristic street jargon words. Oh, I'm really growing blind in my old age. Why? Just a few years ago, I would have spot on him right from the start. You're getting old, Comrade Kovalev. The head's fierce eyes narrow to slits, but after a moment he sighs and slumps his shoulders. Yeah, you're right. I'm too old. And I'm also very tired. Maybe it's time to step down? Make make this Givlev guy the head? I mean, I mean the, the mayor of town? I don't, I, I don't think I should use the word head uh, to describe anything here. It might be uh, taken the wrong way. Maybe so, maybe so. But I will think about it only after I settle this whole bandit situation. One should never leave his business unfinished. So what do we do about it? I see. How about my reward? <laughs> okay, let's just uh, see what, what, what do we do about it. Komrad Kovalev strokes his chin uh, thoughtfully. He's probably thinking about his next step. You calmly await for his uh, reply. Finally, the head uh, claps his hands, showing that he reached some sort of decision. We must bestows, dispose of Grisha the Snitch. This much is clear to me, but how? I don't want to spread panic through the village and make uh, the people nervous. He must be disposed of quietly so nobody notices. I can do it. I'm happy to help with the elimination. Interesting. I would not ask why, but that is good to hear. But what exactly do you propose? Attacking him in broad daylight? No, 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 no. That will never work. I don't want to rouse panic in the village. The snitch must be dealt with quietly. Oh. Game, you're killing me! Oh. It must appear as if he just left. Behind the fence, there is this abandoned building. How about you lure him out there and silently... And you know, do you do the deed cleanly? Kovalev! 
You old man! Okay, I'll do it. A rotten thing to do, especially by my standards, but sometimes one must do rotten things, if it means saving our little community from total obliteration. I don't know how you will lure him there, but I grant you total freedom to do so. After the execution is carried out, return back to me, I would like to speak to you more about our future cooperation. It will be done, I will lure the snitch into the abandoned house and well you know, gotta go. <laughs> Great. Maybe I'm just gonna seduce him, or I'm just gonna say, hey, what's up, I wanna join up. Hey. Guess what? I'm ready to be a bandit. Maybe I should talk to these guys later. Before you stand... yeah. <clears throat> Listen, you don't have anything against going over to that abandoned building over there, right? Oh my god, what is that? I expect... Oh, that's too lazy. Can I just say that we should leave town and just like... come on. Is he gonna fall for this? I can think of like 20 different better ways to try to lure him there. But that, that, that line is just written as a joke. The snitch looks at you suspiciously and eyes his surroundings. To gain his trust, you need to trick him somehow. Why would I do that? Listen, Grisha, you're such a cool guy. Strong and proud. I'd love to get to know you better. <laughs> We might go with that. I see you're a gambler, my man. How about a high stakes game? Somewhere far away in a remote area? That's so dumb. Gotcha, comrade. Follow me. We need to have a serious chat. That's dumb. Listen, pal. Two of my buddies are looking for a place to stay. Just like I am. They are squatting in that abandoned house over there. Oh, that's good. I like that. Speechcraft option is, is okay. The man calms down a bit and nods. So your buddies are in that abandoned building over there? I know where it is. Yep. But they are not the trusting sort. If you go over there alone, they'll hide. What I'm supposed to do? I'll join you and call them out. Okay, that, that worked okay-ish. Do we need to get better at fighting before we... Can't get get outside of this house. Oh, I can't. I call out the dudes. Damn, I should have crafted something good because now I have nothing. Oh, my best thing is is my kick. I'm, hi right, guys. I'm heading to murder this uh, bold bold bastard. I'm not gonna pick up those mushrooms. Those are worthless. Sure, man. Just take your time. You'll be dead in a minute. So, is there a way to force... Oh, yeah. that We can force attack with control. Maybe I'm gonna do it more. I... Just gonna talk to you. The man looks around sheepishly and covers uh, from any noise he overhears. Uh, what's going on? Sorry, man, nothing personal. What a bitch lured me in here to kill me? We'll see about that. Oh, fuck. That, that hurt. Oh, that, that's, 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 that hurts. Oh, he, he broke his knife? Oh boy, that hurt. Please, he's only slightly injured. He's injured. Oh, whoa! What is that super punch? Can I just reload? Seriously, game? 
Okay. We're gonna start differently. Oh man, if I could only use the hunting rifle. That could be a nice way to say hello to him. Should we do aim kicks? Oh no, he's gonna slice me up. Oh, that hurt. Aim kicks, 85%. And non-aimed is... I think I need to do this. Oh, that's really good. Critical damage in the body. Injured. Wow. I need to go with regular attacks. Because I can use that twice in one round. He's almost dead. Yeah, that hurts. Kick him. Kick him the junk. This is not good. He needs to die. Oh boy. Lens. Can take his thief passport. I really hope I'm gonna get healed up because I deserve some something for this. So this went a little bit better by uh, hitting him with a shovel, and he went down. That that was uh, actually quite lucky. My melee damage is not the best, but I suppose this is the best we have right now. Not sure if I should double down on melee. Currently I'm only using it because that's the only thing that I can use. Custom made crossbow. I don't have any more logs. Damn. Not sure if it would even matter. Okay. It is done. You still haven't paid me. I forgot. Please don't think I did it on purpose. You did a good job, you know. Learned the whole truth and did not conceal it. Although you probably had reasons to do so. 25 rupees. Here, for your prowess, a good reward. 250 rupees. I'm an honest man. And I pay for honest work. Uh, so, I, I can't have it... Any other way, nobody should forget the truth. Even if you lose as a result, even if you lose your health over it, even if you gain new powerful enemies. What? I want more money. <clears throat> You're right again. It's not the best I could offer. Wait, I'm always forgetting you're a stranger in our parts and that you help us although you gain no benefit in saving our village. Please accept this additional 75 rupees. Thanks for that. Right, moving on. No questions? Can I say it's done? It's done! Uh, the hat presses his lips together and nods. Without a word, he pulls out a fistful of rupees from his inside pocket and hands them to you, without looking you in the eye. Oh, that's that's the way I like it. Just, just don't even look me in the eye when you pay me the blood money. Here, 350 rupees. That's for the job. I thought I asked Petya to do this, the lad at the north gate. Uh, he's got a lot of fight in him. What? I wanted him to look in the traitor's eyes before he killed him. Just to understand what it's like. Maybe it's for the 
best that you did, inst did it instead of him. Maybe a few rubles more? <laughs> Can you give me a, a little bit money? The head silently puts the money in your hands. You suddenly take it from him. That That is all we got. Even more to my regret, we cannot barter on this matter. At least, not right now. So after the deed is done, how about taking on a little more work? As you can see, we are honest people, and we reward honest work. Yes? Quite the rarity in the waste, I will say this ahead of time. If you agree, I will pay you even better. I'd even be willing to haggle over your pay. You see, what I need done is a very special job. Oh my god, man! Ugh, okay? Kovalev, tell me about this very special job. Fine, look. The bandits had their spy in our village. I want to have my spy in their camp. Ooh, I like this. And since you have shown yourself to be a very resourceful person, I would like to offer this job to you. It is also important that they know all of my people, but you're new here in the village, nobody really knows you, you can easily earn their trust and infiltrate their gang. We need one of our men to walk into the lion's den. But I'm a woman! Can you be more specific? What does I have to do? What do I have to do, man? Just work for them. Do what they ask you to do. Act like one of them. Just keep me informed of their plans. If I know what those bandits are planning, I might be able to come up with a plan of my own. Alright, sounds interesting. Great. Now, we only need to figure out how to get you into the camp. Was there anything interesting on the body of the traitor? Just a card. I got my written invitation. Hmm. I heard that the bandits are creating their own Official documents always seem like a terrible idea to me, but on the other hand, I still think like I did in the old life. Now the criminals have much less to fear than in the old days. Yes, that might be just what we need. You should try showing this card at the bandit's camp's gate. I know for a fact that you may approach it without getting shot, probably. They could mistake you for one of their own. For a thief or a beggar, at least. Well, fuck you, Kovalev. Sounds shady, but I'll do it. Just remember, I expect to get paid handsomely. I guess I can't change my mind. Of course. Don't even worry about that. I never went undercover, but I completely understand how hard it is. <laughs> Fucking hell. I will pay you well. What, you pay me 400 rupees this time? And the village will be forever grateful. Now, let me mark their camp on your map. You give your map to the head, and after some consideration, he carefully draws a cross on the spot the bandit camp should be. After reviewing your map one more time, he hands it back to you. There, done! This is where the bandits live. Also, you might need a gun for the job. I can help you with that. Go to the armorer, he will supply you. Good luck! Yes! Give me all the guns! I see! Do you have something? Ah, uh, not really. Okay, thanks for that. So... So this is like the scene from The Matrix. You just walk in and just like the... The weapon racks, gun racks just rolling on the side and you just take whatever you want. This is exactly what we're here for. So man, give me everything. No, 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 no. I'm here for the stuff. What are you guarding? Where are they at the stock? Didn't we? We definitely did. Ah. Uh, okay. So this is not what we are looking for. Is it where I'm gonna get my stuff? In the shop? Mm. 
I was sent for a weapon. You heard about it, right? Not. I was not sent for a weapon. I was sent here to get freaking ready for anything. Trader Yashin. You know what I mean. I heard you got something. I got something fun for you. I'll take a man's head clean off his shoulders. The trader ducks behind his counter and after a few moments re-emerges with a pistol. Thanks, bye. Really? Rusty knock on pistol. <laughs> really? Five average damage. Uses ammo that I don't have. Bloody hell. But at least it's it's kind of a step forward. Okay. So I, this might surprise you, uh, Yashin. But I kind of need bullets for that pistol you gave me. That's kind of a piece of shit. It's basically a rusty uh, old Negan pistol. Uh, crap. What kind of bullets it uses? Does it use 30 caliber? I don't think so. It uses 30. Okay. I like to see your bears. So... But we need to be a bit careful. Old hunting rifle? Wooden assault rifle. I don't think that's a, has any value. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It costs 20. No, no, no. It, it costs. Uh, never mind that. I was like, whoa, that's way too much for bomb wood. Thief passport. Oh, man. Wires. I don't think we're gonna need so many em empty bottles. I guess they could be used in crafting. Canned meat. Okay. Sure, that's good. Photo. What about this meat? We might be able to uh, cook it. Soap. So, I need this. He has only seven. Seven bullets. And seven bullets cost me 46 rupees. That's crazy. He's also selling rupees. Can I list by weight? Did I list by weight? I don't think so. But that would be a nice feature. Oh, well, can I do that? Looks like I managed to list by something. I think I listed by rupee price. Yeah, some things are kind of heavy. I'm not sure if we... Yeah, we got one of that. I don't know. I think we're gonna buy the bullets. Oh, this is so expensive. But I'm not sure what to sell. Because all of these can be uh, valuable, potentially. I really don't know. What is useless? I can get some water into it. Herbal mix. Oh, I got a lot of rupees. So... Not too bad. Waste paper. I just put it there. And give me like six rupees. Whatever. Uh, let's trade. Close. No, close. Just looking around. Can I reload this? Oh, I don't want to shoot. I want to reload. So it's 7 out of 7. So finally it's loaded. We do have a ranged weapon. And if that doesn't work, we're just gonna kick people in the face. Actually, not aim kicking, but like regular kicking. I'm not exactly like a proper ninja. And uh, the question is... 
Should I buy food or should I just say I need help and maybe he's gonna give me a deal? Oh, he healed me up? Thanks, Doc! Okay, we're full health. That's really good. So, next stop, we need to go to the factory to infiltrate the gang. Uh, so we are in Orta now. We don't know how to repair the pump. It is obviously a, a, a thing just to remind me of Fallout 1, where you need to repair the well. But here, you can't open your skill tab, uh, which is a... I don't know how I'm supposed to do my skills without opening it. I don't think I'm gonna need like a toolkit for every skill because we can check this. And I have points to uh, just uh, distribute right now. And we're actually close to leveling up. Tinkering. What if I up my... I think it's technology. Like, does it work automatically? Because when I try to just click on containers, it just said locked, and it didn't even, tr well, the character didn't even try to open the lock. Uh, so that's not good. So I'm not sure how it works, because it kind of makes sense that for lock picking, you kind of need some tools. Well, you kind of need tools for everything, basically. That's usually the case. I'm just not sure how to use my skills. That's it. Hmm. We still yet to talk to some dudes. But we are very close to actually leaving this place. Oh, what is that? Mm, yeah, we can't click on that. Did I miss some trash here? Because we're not gonna miss any trash with taking it all. That's how we make rupees. Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.